Mom, that's Billy. He's in my class. I heard he's retarded or something. <laughs> Billy Madison is a 1995 comedy film starring Adam Sandler that received mixed reviews upon its release, but is now considered one of Sandler's best movies. Adam Sandler stars as Billy Madison, the childish, immature, and spoiled 27-year-old son of hotel tycoon Brian Madison, played by actor Darren McGavin. Billy spends his days drinking and laying by the pool with his friends Jack and Frank, played by Mark Beltzman and Norm MacDonald in his feature film debut. Who would you rather bone, Meg Ryan or Jack Nicholson? Jack Nicholson now or 1974? 74. Meg Ryan. Billy is the heir to Madison Hotels, the Fortune 500 chain of over 650 hotels, all founded by his father. Due to his immaturity, his father doubts that Billy is mature enough to run a Fortune 500 company. He eventually decides to leave his company to the unlikable and devious executive vice president, Eric Gordon, played by Bradley Whitford. You're going to give the company to Eric? He is a bad, bad man! I mean, I'm doing you a favor. You don't ever have to look for a job. When Billy pleads with his father to reconsider, his father reveals that he often had to bribe teachers to give Billy better passing grades in school. High school was a pain in the ass, but I graduated. You graduated because I paid your teachers to give you decent grades. Billy makes a deal with his father. He will complete all 12 grades of school, with two weeks for each grade, to prove that he is competent enough to manage his dad's company. Have a nice weekend, son. <laughs> you start school on Monday. Oh! Once in elementary school, he meets a third grade teacher named Veronica Vaughn, played by Bridget Wilson. Don't you think it's a little pathetic that just because of who your father is, you get to come to school all over again? Yes, I do. He begins to have romantic feelings towards her, and eventually, she feels the same way. As Billy progresses through each grade, humorous events unfold. Bet that snack pack's pretty good. Want to trade me the rest of it for this banana? You know how badly I can beat you, right? From a crazy lunch lady... <laughs> Hans the Marsh! A lot of <laughs> Lady, you're scaring us. <laughs> to an unstable bus driver played by Chris Farley. I'll turn this damn bus around. That'll end your precious little field trip pretty damn quick, huh? Directed by Tamara Davis, this movie was a modest box office success. It grossed over $25 million on a budget of only $10 million. This was a much better box office gross than either Going Overboard or Airheads, the two films Adam Sandler had starred in in the previous six years. The modest success of Billy Madison allowed Adam Sandler to continue with a film career that would ultimately gross in excess of $2 billion. Filmed from June to August of 1994 in Toronto, Ontario, Adam Sandler has said that the character of Billy was the closest he ever came to playing himself. Okay, so let's all open up our Reading is Fun books to page 69. 69! <laughs> Chris Farley repeats a line that his character said in the movie Airheads the previous year. Great, grand, wonderful. Great, grand, wonderful! No yelling on the bus! For his role as the crazy red-faced bus driver, Chris Farley drank six shots of espresso before shooting. Another Airheads cast member, Steve Buscemi, does have a role in this movie, and this would be the first of many collaborations he would have in Adam Sandler films. Actors Glenn Shaddix and Wayne Knight were both considered for the role of Principal Max Anderson. The role would go to Josh Mostel, who would also find himself cast in other future Adam Sandler movies. 
The Lunch Lady Serving Sloppy Joes is a reference to Adam Sandler's popular song Lunch Lady Land, which is from his 1993 album They're All Gonna Laugh at You. But then my friend Sloppy Joe came and joined my side. He said if it wasn't for the lunch lady, the kids wouldn't eat you. You should be shaking her hand and saying, please to meet you. That album is the fifth highest selling comedy album of all time. His 1996 follow-up album, What the Hell Happened to Me, with such classics as The Hypnotist and The Talking Goat and Piece of Shit Car, is the number one selling comedy album of all time. In real life, Adam Sandler's mother worked as a nursery school teacher, and of all the movies her son worked on, Billy Madison is her favorite. Actor Philip Seymour Hoffman auditioned for the role of Eric Gordon. Adam Sandler saw the tape and thought he was hilarious. Sandler really wanted Hoffman, and the studio offered him the role. But then Hoffman changed his mind, and the role went to Bradley Whitford. Whitford never actually saw the film when it was first released, but apparently people would see him in public and shout out, Business Ethics. I choose Business Ethics. <laughs> Charles Bronson was offered the role of Brian Madison, but he turned it down. Filmmakers then went to actor Darren McGavin, who accepted. There were a lot of deleted scenes in this film, some of which fit in, some of which don't. Oh my, you're beautiful. Are you new here? Started on Monday. And you're already playing kickball? You're a little sweetie. Hey, you know, the last maid we had used to hand wash my underwear while I was still wearing them. Just something to think about. They can be found on DVD special features and the internet, and some of them are kind of funny. Billy, could you step in here for a moment? Tell you what, Dad, let me just take my coat off, uh, grab some Raisin Bran, watch TV a few hours, then I'll let you know whether I feel like coming in there. How's that grab you? Ow! Oh! Just wanted some Raisin Bran. I never heard nobody. All those raisins, so tasty and delicious. Just shut up. This movie would begin a series of trends in Adam Sandler's film character names. Most of the characters he has played in films will end in Y or IE. Billy, Happy, Robbie, Bobby, Sonny, Nicky, Henry, Hubie. You also see a trend where most of the female love interests in his movies have a double V name. Veronica Vaughn, Virginia Venet, Vicky Valancourt, Valerie Varon, Violet Valentine. Fun stuff. When I was a kid, Adam Sandler was on Saturday Night Live in the early 90s. You have no water! Fabio Pellegrino! Pellegrino, Pellegrino! Hands, Pellegrino for Signore! And by 1998-99, his movies like Billy Madison and The Wedding Singer were dominant on my family's VCR. I've liked this movie since the late 1990s when I first saw it, and if you're looking for a 1990s goofball comedy, I highly recommend Billy Madison.